Hey, this is Brian from New Relic. Welcome back to our Ask New Relic video series where we're going to answer some questions that we get on Twitter each week. Our first question relates to deleting unwanted accounts. Uh, sometimes people have created application instances that they no longer want to monitor and they want to remove them from their instance of New Relic. So here we see three applications that are not sending data anymore. And these applications are actually defunct at this point. So we can just click on delete and we'll be able to confirm this and that application will be removed from our account. While we're here, I want to point out that the application sort order is actually auto-arranged within New Relic. But if you'd like to control the sort order, we can scroll down and turn off auto-arrange. And now the applications can be sorted just by dragging them around in the screen. The next question that came in from Twitter was asking about instrumenting rake tasks in Ruby. We do have a support document on monitoring Ruby background processes and daemons. The first thing we need to do is add custom instrumentation. So here's an example. We also show how to instrument class methods. To instrument scripts, here's an example of using New Relic custom instrumentation and manually starting the agent. You'll find a link to this support document and more in this blog post. Our next question relates to real user monitoring. This is our newest feature. We've been asked this week about manually instrumenting Java applications with real user monitoring. Adding these two lines to your JSP files will allow you to manually instrument your Java applications with real user monitoring. If you're not using JSPs for your Java application and you want to just write straight HTML, here's the code to do that. Thanks again and keep your questions coming. Hit us up on Twitter with the hashtag quick. We'll see you again next time. Thanks.